2017, you know, I think it was two years ago when Black Lives Matter disrupted uh, the Black Pride Parade and a lot, you know, in Russia you have a band group, Pussy Riot or yeah. something like this. They go topless and climb balconies and, and whatever. My dad did it in the 1930s after protest in Europe, you know. To most people uh, in the city, everywhere, they, they ignored the Pussy Riot's the girls and, and the, the Black Lives Matter, BLM2, Black Lives Matter Toronto, they ignored them. Because, you know, the disruptive. The way to get your message across, I, I work for the Liberal, well, I helped the, the Liberal Party of Ontario in federally. And, for the past 20 or, or so years, I help some conservative. If you want to hire me, I'll take your money. You know, there's nothing. So if you have the in the U.S. and in, in Europe, you have the alt right. As the, you know, and then name these names. They label themselves. I'll use you, know, you have Antifa. You have everything protesting and damaging streets. And even even the the, the shooter in Florida. It's not like, like the four fifth uh, shooting mm -hmm. in Florida as I to get to get uh, the message across, you know. Nowadays, all this violent in person. They could be every time there's a protest in, in Toronto for what, whatever cause, anything from the environment to police brutality. To it, there's always a march. It starts usually well, the the, 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 uh, the police ones start at the at College Street where the police headquarters is, but. The others start on Dundas and somehow they end up in the U U.S. in front of the U.S. consulate on University Avenue and Dundas somewhere on a Sunday when the, 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 the consulate staff are at home because no government ever works <laughs> on a Sunday morning, especially at 10 a.m., you know. Say the last three in Siberia, they go there, you know. CP24 gives them an hour or less, you know. Nowadays, it's, it's all about the social media. Nobody cares about your, your protest, protesting, you know. And in some of the pro, we may we take for granted the fact that we, we can protest here all we want. I can protest, I don't like your beer, and everybody should shit shave it. There has nothing wrong with the beer, by the way. <laughs> Uh, in other countries, in I don't know if you know uh, Barso, uh, Barcelona, Catalonia, in in northeastern yeah. Spain, that uh, you know they protest, uh, they want to separate, but the, the the national police in Spain beat the crap out of them, completely horrible. Here, you know, in Syria, in Iran, in Russia, if you protest against Putin, something's going to happen to, uh, to your family, and it does. You may disappear, and they may not get, get directly you, but they'll get your family. One of the, the one of the best ways uh, to do it is go on the on the internet. There's ways to bypass countries. China, about a third of eight of Asia, Asian countries uh, block Facebook, including Turkey, uh, block uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. But that's what people know how, how to bypass this. You know, one of the things I've been suggesting to, to, to many groups. From Japan to to the U.S. Instead of fighting, there's there there are better ways. Like that, each start a, start a, a YouTube channel, you know, to have a conversation and, and whatever without a, without attacking. Because we all filter somebody's attacking attack, you know. Just like the the Clinton people and the Trump people, they'll never get along. Trump. Pro Trump, pro his ways. I can protest, mean anti protest, protest, I mean anti anti protest. It's continuing. All the business, they get the, the, the windows uh, broken in. Just because of all that damage, people are going to see the damage. They're not going to see your cause. Okay? Whatever it is, you know, what the hell did the local coffee shop shops they have done when Black Block, I think they call them, when it happened in G20? All those businesses. What do we remember about the G20 events? That social justice game? No, we remember the uh, the, the, so the police when they started, left people in the middle of the Diana Queen 
and all the windows broken. Those people had an anti-gene 20 agent. Nobody ever remember, <laughs> remembers that because the violence, they burned a, a police car. That, that idiot <laughs> got arrested. He did. They deserved it, you know. But there's a better way. Wasn't it the Occupy Wall Street movement? That's what affected, that came from? The, yeah, so okay. I'm so with my brain's still asleep, you know. The Occupy Wall Street, they came here, and you know, I don't agree with them, but they have every, every right to, uh, to protest. In internet, they said we're not burning things and damaging, so I end up paying for it. It's like taxpayer in Toronto, you know. What, what they could have done with the, shall we say, the alt right movement, the conservatives that on the right side of the political, this side, from your perspective, okay? They're starting online websites. There's one of the most famous ones is, what's his name? Alex Jones, I think? Mm -hmm. Infowars. I don't know if you know about it. Yeah. This, you know? And he, he has his show. You may not like him or whatever, but he has all that great content. Well, sometimes the Antifa side, the Antifa side, this side, you know, they're, they're starting, um, they're going outside and protesting in parks and, and things like that. Nah. We are all at work, we're all doing whatever, we're not going to go to the, I'm 39, I'm too old to go to the park and hold a sign or whatever. I work with journalists, I cover them, I got, I got attacked, I got pepper spray. If you ever been pepper spray, pepper spray, it hurts, it hurts like hell. You know, you have a camera, you, you have a 25,000 little camera on your shoulder. You know, and get social media, get Twitter, get Insta, Insta, Instagram, get... What's the other Nobody cares about Snapchat, really. If you just get Facebook. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, even though it's not by Facebook. YouTube. And, and, yeah, so you, YouTube, you know. A lot of, this, I follow a lot of channels, you know, everything from from PETA to, I mean, disagree with them, but I like to learn, learn their, their perspective, you know? And do a consistent schedule. Get, get your message out. And don't just get in front, in front, imagine this camera, in front of the camera speaking like this. You don't have to have a professional, a professional studio. You people live in Toronto, you know, the public system has a Greek, two or three branches who have a, a Green, green screen and room for free, and you get to book one hour, one or two hours at a time per day. You stay in here and, and you, you start speaking. You don't need a professional studio in, or go to Sheridan for the, their use of the animation studios or whatever. Anybody, anybody can, uh, can so you can go to Best Buy with a with hundred dollars, you can buy a basic camera and start. Start out with that. That's how I start, I, I started. You know, now mo most elections are, are are won by what their social social media social media is. You know, an example of a cause is the you know Patrick Brown and his oh, yeah. social stupid choices. He the timing. If you've been around politics as, as for twenty years, you know that was a hundred percent perfectly planned perfectly planned and going to be used against him by the, the other parties if he becomes le leader again, you know? That was com completely uh, planned. Who planned it? I'm trying to figure out who, but there's some, somebody from Vinsa, you know? Yeah. That just before the elect, that just before, the, when a message gets out, you have to, you have to see the, the timing for it. Whether you came out through Facebook, through uh, YouTube, through YouTube, and, and this, you know, and Gawker.com got the whole uh, Rob Ford and the, the Toronto Star, you know, but that's way before an election. There was no political agenda from the opposing team, you know. There are people who don't, don't like Patrick Brown, like in his style of cons conservatism, you know. And anyway, I'm going to tell that was just, just to. To get rid of them. look at look at the conservative they have no leader and just before you know it's going to uh, weaken them you know one of the best uh, to get their message across there's a guy named uh, a member of parliament a conservative MP from Perry San was North of Barry Perry San was Coca uh, called Tony Clement he likes he's active his other you know. 
the NDP members tend to be more 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 active on on the on the whole social media and YouTube, YouTube but their message just gets across as in they're benching and saying what do we we NDP just because you know they went the wrong way. There hasn't been an NDP prime minister in the past three and ever. You know, when you get when you get your your message, the first thing telling your your telling your message and just like if you and I are, are, are running for political office, I have two options: A, you suck; B, I'm good because mm, you know. The causes that tend to get ignored are people who say you suck, or, you're bad, or you know. But what some parties are going to do against Patrick Brown in you. The other, the other way is when you promote yourself. What you did better, sort of, uh, you know. A lot of the cost, uh, causes out there that tend to do the protesting, you know, and a lot of the property that uh, damage is not going to. Nobody, most people, the average person uh, doesn't care. All the political parties have their their activists who are blind, loyal, who everybody else is wrong, our party, our party, you know? Even, even, even Peter has one, one, one of the best in the US, one of the best uh, YouTube channels, they get their message across, very short, sweet, 30, 30 seconds or less uh, uh, commer uh, commercials. That gets them out. Pamela Anderson is their spokesperson. And, they watch, you know. I'm sort of interrupting, but I mean, now that we're sort of 20 years in as far as the internet and uh, you know, people that are more of a population has sort of grown up around the internet and was social, haven't been around a while. I think a lot of the old strategies and tactics, uh, those that were employed by, say, Roger Stone and, and, and some of this other stuff that you're talking about, you know, the, the mudslinging towards Patrick Brown or even the look at the Democrats in regards to Trump. They don't have a party message now, and I think that the populace as a whole is kind of wisening up to some of these tactics now, though, aren't they? Yes. You know, the, the, the they're trend, kind of recognizing that it's mudslinging for sake of mudslinging, and it's like, well, where's, where's the message? You know? For example, if we were all 30 years ago, Patrick Brown, nobody would have would have heard any of the scandal, whether it's true or not, that's something separate, you know? Now with social media. I can grab my phone right now and, and start saying you whatever whatever skeleton you may you, you, you may have you know you know but yeah the the old ways to bring out your skeletons that everybody everybody's got them but I think the real sorry for interrupting here but I think the real damage to Patrick Brown was done by Patrick Brown by the way he reacted the way he behaved and when he got knocked back on his heels there. You know, whereas if it said, yeah, you know, I grabbed it by the pussy, nobody gives a shit. Here's the issues. You know what I mean? You deflect by, you know what I mean? Like it's... The way it was done, he stayed quiet. First of all, he, his staff, they all quit. That tells you something. You, you that, yeah. your staff, you fucked up. And but that interview he did. He didn't perform well on that interview, no. if everybody saw it. I didn't see it. I just, he was just... If, yeah, if, if something, if, if let's say Justin Trudeau, it, well, his father was prime minister. He gets a bit of a reputation compared to other political leaders. If he is something, happy, if he gets accused now, by the time he gets to the nine o'clock news or, or ten p.m. when he does his interview, he is going to his uh, staff and the Liberal Party, the, the party staff, are going to be talking to him of what exactly to say. Patrick Brown said too quiet, and, you know. And when you get a scandal uh, like this, you should never ever. Open your mouth with a thing. Do the complete opposite. What what uh, what Donald Trump is 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 doing? He opens he opens his mouth and adds fuel fuel to the fire. You know. N nowadays you have to th think about it because there there you know all those uh, sex scandals th and things and touching and grabbing whatever in the U.S. Uh, what's, what's that? A uh, Hollywood director. Weinstein, yeah. and all this, they're, they're, they're taking what somebody said 15 years ago, you know, 
and fi the mentality 15 years ago was not as politically uh, correct now. You know, if you put your arm, if I put the arm around a woman and, and grab whatever party, back then, whatever, nowadays, you know, and people are going to, uh, to re remember that, you know. So Patrick Brown, before he, he ran, he quit federal politics to that she should have looked at every, all his skeletons. Like he's, a bit, he's a little bit cocky in the first place. He thinks he's God's gift to the universe. He actually does think, you know. And a lot of this cost, would you say, uh, if you were to hire, hire somebody for your company, to, to the, that spokesperson, you need to, to look at a hundred percent everything, you know. When I when I worked for for a media company, I was going to get a, a spokesperson, and she was a young woman in her mid twenties. She liked to go to Cancun. Nothing that wrong with going out drinking. We, we all did it. But in one of her Facebook pictures, I was looking at her Facebook. Nothing wrong. Nothing. You know. Uh, <coughs> Uh, she has uh, cook, you know when you do cocaine with, with a car? She has one, she's faking it's not that she's, she's not gonna party. But if you look behind, there's a, there's a, a bag of, su of sugar, so you know it's sugar. But, but that's the, pre the, the previous one, so you go to the first one like that. My, rep my company's reputation uh, would have been completely bad, you know? You all remember Rob Ford, which was the mayor every year, well, until now it's stupid. On January 1st, January 2nd, whichever is the first weekday, you used to go to City Hall, meet your, meet your mayor and your town councilors, that's tradition since the 1900s. Maybe, yeah. And some of the, and there's an official photographer that takes pictures and they put up on their clicker. I should have <coughs> filtered out who goes into these things. Because there was a, a Latvian, Lithuanian, one of the countries, a member of the Nazi party. Think about the, the bad message that they catch you when you have a Nazi and you're the mayor. It, you know? Mm -hmm. So when you hire people, even volunteers, you have to filter them out. You have to think what their, the, uh, the, their, their message was, you know? And if you want to go, uh, a spokes to hire a spokesperson for PETA, and then the per you look at their Instagram, and they are going to eating burgers and everything. And PETA is not exactly the, you know they want to go everywhere to go vegan. That wouldn't make a place when the guy when the guy you're about to hire, PETA hired, has a thousand pictures of eating burgers and every, every animal out there that they could possibly eat, mm -hmm. from a cow to to a snail and everything in between, you know. Nowadays, it's the message, and who who said who says the, uh, the, the 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 message? You know, uh, a lot uh, a lot of the Metrolinks has a, a woman a spokesperson, Anne Marie Aiken. A lot of uh, she hasn't gotten anything, but when you put, for example, a woman, expect especially on Twitter, you're gonna get a lot of misogynist uh, comments like that, and that can ruin, you know, even. Even if you put a tie, if you put a red tie, you have to be careful because you could be associated with the Liberal Party, for example, for conservative your blue. My, my jack, jacket is red because I didn't like the black one, but it's also the flag of Canada, the, the, main, the main color, you know? <coughs> when, you, when you do on Instagram, I'm going to assume you all have every social media account out there, okay? Instagram, you can do the live thing, but unless you're on your phone, you, you, you can't view it on your computer, the, the live broadcast, you know? There's Periscope, there's Facebook, uh, Facebook Live, and yesterday with Amber Mack, her session, I learned that you, you can close, uh, uh, close caption, you know? And when you get your message across on your YouTube, you, you can close caption. You can get your message out there, but there's people protesting that you're not close captioned, captioning for, for the for, for deaf people, hard of hearing people, that can drown your 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 actual your actual message. You know, there was at city hall there was a, an, a pro animal let's say, a vegan network, a Toronto vegan network or whatever. They came out in a in a letters leaf basin. 
in here and covering there's a three, three spots, you know? Mm -hmm. The media came uh, less, less than five years later, they went away. That doesn't uh, get the proper message that they, 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 want, they wanted, you know? Uh, because later on some, somebody came in a baking oven. And yes, there's, there's, there's a big, gigantic bake, a baking oven. That's a complete of the anti, you know? You, 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 even the even the venue, the even the wonderful uh, uh, organizers who, who put my session at 10 a.m. in the other, the other rooms. If you go see this, not that many people, you know. It's also the timing, the the, the, the location. One of the things in downtown, that uh, Councilor Joe Cressy is 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 pushing. It's a rail deck park, you know the. The go line, the, the tunnel around underneath the expedite and bath like that. Mm -hmm. They want to put a roof on it and, and put a park with just a lot of people. If you were to come uh, to Scarborough, Dallas, we need a few billion dollars uh, to put uh, the rail link by the air rights and all that stuff. Nobody cares in Scarborough about a park and town because most people in Scarborough we also have parks that that we can. I'm not going to come here with my niece and nephews to go on a swing, so a bit of swings, you know? A lot, a lot of the protests that happen, happen on a Sunday. You know, not that, that religious, but some, some people, it's their rest of the day. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a few real different religions have the, the, you know? There was a, uh, yeah, and no University Avenue. It's all towers and sun, all those business towers are completely empty. Most of the times I work in those towers, do, doing the, on, on Sundays and then on the north end of university around, you know, there's the, the hospital network and if you're, if you're stuck in the hospital bed, you're not going to carry it, you're not going to come down, you know? It can, it's very tricky because everybody is saying the message out there, there's no much stuff, you have to filter and may, many Many groups think if you bring in a, a, an attractive woman in a, in a bikini or a muscled up firefighter type, that's going to attract, that's gonna attract uh, the wrong things. They don't care what they call the eye candy, they don't care about your actual cost, you know? To, if you want to get things for se seniors' costs for some uh, low income seniors, nobody's going to care about you. Small seniors w won't care about uh, their. Your YouTube channel, your your Twitter, your you know, and you have to plan it and block in the street, down the square, young and down the streets, block all the bloody time. You know, many times during rush hour, nobody. They just want to get across and they, they want to remember you in twelve hours, twenty four hours. You know, there's. Uh, do a, a, a get together like this, you know. If you want your cause or, or whatever, if it's say the doggy park or whatever in River in Riverdale, if there, I think there's one there. You know, you you contact the, whatever the local council is for, uh, for Riverdale. They you won't you won't contact just Justin Trudeau because he has the care and there's nothing he can do about a municipal issue, technically speaking. You know. And the way you do it in this doggy park thing, an example, you, you know, high park, you guys know the high park zoo? I don't really go to zoos. It's a little petting zoo, free zoo that was donated to the city, city in the 1800s. The original owners, in the 1800s, a few people owned a lot of areas, and, you know, and it gets city funding and during the uh, budget. The high park? High park. Well, I had no idea. I know about the old Riverdale Zoo. Yeah, there's the zoo there. The yeah. There's one in the, what's called, the, in the island. Toronto Island. Anyways, okay. the High Park Zoo, and it cost it $300,000 uh, $300, to, to maintain, and it's been a fundraiser ever since then because Crawford uh, wanted to come. They contacted the councillor. They, they got petitions, and there was a fundraiser. They went to CP24 and whatever, you know. 
lot of these cautious things just because you care about that or somebody else is somebody else is, is going to care. Everybody, we all have our own cost that we can we can't we can't donate the ten dollars a month to every single cost or whatever those things say nowadays, you know? <coughs> and uh, high practice so he was proof huh? Uh, the local council also helped and there, and there, were, there was a <coughs> fundraiser and I think I, I paid, uh, it was a signing auction, I think, I paid six dollars for a stupid teddy bear just, just for my nieces who know. She only liked it for three months, six dollars for a teddy. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> and then right next to it there's a Jamie Bell uh, playground. There was a fire in it because some fire back. I thought it was fun. Fire wouldn't, you know. And they email, e they send a message to every single me media outlet uh, out there. They, they send to the local councillors. Can the entire Mike Holmes from the, the construction house construction guy? He came there and rebuilt it. If I, if you went from the rim for the, the rail deck park, my holes and get it there, I wouldn't care because it's got no dollars, you know. It just makes them look like they care about the community, what they do or not, they're separate. And they, they care, you know. You have to get into in, in into the heartstrings, you know. If you if you have kids and the playground needs to be built, I'm gonna go after you. If you don't have kids, I'm not gonna you know, going to go after you, you know? Any questions? Um, yeah. Oh yeah. So what, like, some of these bullet points on your thing, uh, what not to say because it will not get your message out, so we review any things on that. If you... Some of the things you should never. See. You have to be careful, uh, also first of all, which organization. Because like, if I help the let's say NDP party, the conservatives are not likely to ever hire me ever again. Or I, you know, some of the things that you never say to bring your cause is most tweets of Donald Trump. <laughs> you know, and there is a way to uh, to say I don't like you, you suck, versus. I disagree with you because whatever, and, and Coke's better because Coke Zero is better than Pepsi because he has zero sugar. Zero sugar, you know. There is a way to say your beliefs without attacking the opposition. You know, a lot of causes, a lot of not, you know. But then, how did Donald Trump win? Because that's all he did. You know, he did a lot of aggressive, uh, you know, but, but he was always on the offensive and very little the, the reason, defensive, you know, like he was very, the know, reason, put her in jail, lock her up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, you know, uh, they're playing on your emotion. Yeah. You know how when you when you do a, like a, what it's called the animal rescues, the the US SPC or whatever they have, they put a, a, a puppy, a sun puppy with the eyes and the whole, you know, I'm going to use Rob Ford and Olivia Chubb. Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, you know? Um, Rob Ford, just like the other, uh, let's just don't, don't, Donald Trump just says things outright. He's blunt. Hillary Clinton is nice. She, she, never, she never even farts. Donald Trump he says things that we would say. And there are certain things you would tell me that you wouldn't tell your boss at Pace. <laughs> at Pace, you would never tell, you effing suck, for example. You would never tell your boss. You do it after him. He gives you your paycheck and then you cash it. <laughs> you know, but uh, in, in Toronto, we had David Miller for not for two two terms, I think it was. A third term, the, the strike, you know. Too they, long. Huh? And then the, the garbage strike or whatever, labor disruption, whatever you want to call it. And then 
many people see as government waste and like, you know, it's like, it's Skyrim, why does everything, all the spending happen in, in downtown versus Skyrim or Tobacco or North York? And Rob Ford brought that out, out there, like that there's a disadvantage, it's just like many U, U, U.S. what Donald Trump brought out, that the Eli, Eli, whatever you pronounce it, that the rich people were getting everything, and the poor people, the, the low-income people, they were, they were never, they were, like the starters, they were never, ne never getting anything, you know? Mm -hmm. and he played on on, 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 on on that emotion, you know? But some people say what happened between Clinton and Trump is not good politics. Right? I'm in the middle, you know? So, I <laughs> work in political campaigns, and nobody ever wins by, by being nice, uh, too, in a way, you know? But there are times where it's, it's great to not be nice and be an asshole. And then it's time when you should be nice, not just when your mother is, is at the dinner table, you know? Mm -hmm. But the goal in politics is to win. Anything else, you need second place, third place, even by what you want to do. You know, you want to get your, your cosa, the, the the vegan, is the Toronto Vegan Association or something like that that they rent a, a, ta a table at, at the Blue Street Festival or Blue Festival and, and then every other festival, at the Blue Festival, every other festival out there uh, to get the, the, their message across, you know? Mm -hmm. And I see them, they just have pan some pamphlets and, and whatever. Nothing special. I know they exist there. My brain re re remembers them, you know? But there's 50 other tables as well. Mm. You know? They're doing something, but they never get uh, the, the message. So what would be your advice for them to improve their message? They could be more active on, so on, on so so social media, for example, you know? Everything's about YouTube nowadays, you know? Mm. And do the complete opposite of Logan Paul. Okay. You, you never heard of Logan Paul? Logan Paul? Yeah. On YouTube? No, no, no. Well, he was the oh. YouTube star. The oh, yeah, the blonde guy? The shit yeah. guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Suicide yeah. thing. You know, do not. Japan, yeah. Yeah, do, do, do not do that, you know? You know? And it's like, it's like, or even. I know one YouTuber who went on a cemetery. I'm sorry, but people. It was a Jewish cemetery. Yeah. He was a Jewish. And nothing wrong with that, you know. But but and he started disrupting and turning to a new Nazi. Um, Eventually all the anger and like in the front of center, you know? It's your location, your timing. And don't go don't be disrespect, disrespectful a hole by going to the suicide. You know? Yeah. There's a reason why most media when you see you never see the dead bodies. You know, whenever the, there's a, the TTC, whenever there's somebody jumps in front of a train or puts a foot on the th third rail, they never mention that, they just say it's a delay. And they never see the dead body. Question then, I feel like interjecting yeah. here. In terms of your messaging, and you've mentioned YouTube and liking that as a platform, when you're setting up your YouTube, you know, for instance, You've got the option to either have comments turned on, comments turned off. What do you, how do you base, I mean, obviously if they're turned off, you're not going to get any kind of conversation going. When would you make a decision to have the commenting turned off versus coming turned on by default? I, did, I, I said first YouTube because it's the biggest platform. Mm -hmm. And I've been there since before Google bought it. There's Vid, we shut down, there's Vid. It's not other alternative, but you ever use YouTube, you know? There was a recent article on the on the Toronto Star about all the misogynist bad comments that female councillors, city councillors get. When you're talking about that, you know, I would have tur turned off the comments on, on the on the article. You know, it depends on the topic. Certain topics topics are going to get you know, and what I have no problem uh, banning when I work in media. I ban people outright. You know. It takes two seconds to change your IP address and, and, and do a new one, you know? At the end, but you have to be careful to, to get your message across, you know? Because if you want to get your, your, your message across and you have... 
him as your spokesperson and somebody's attacking him for your religious belief, your sexuality, whatever, and a thousand uh, comments hating you for whatever, people are going to focus on that, even though there's 20 other uh, comments that are good towards whatever the topic of the article that you, you, you to video, you know? You have to uh, look at the comments and if it's not useful to the conversation, delete or block, but it depends on, you know? Well, the thing is, just to add to it, um, if you have original content and you turn off comments, what you're doing is you're, you're saying, like, you're shutting down the conversation, right? And that doesn't stop somebody from taking your video, uploading it to their area, and having full control, and now they can kind of block you if they don't allow you to defend yourself. So it can go two ways, yeah. okay? Um, for me, you know, I've had to you know, do some damage control online. There are a lot of people that assume certain things. You just have to just right the ship a little bit and then kind of uh, placate them in a way where they're going to kind of see your way without being, you know, you, you can say your message like you said uh, without coming across, you know, negatively. So, but to me, like when I see negative comments, I just try to engage as positively as possible and uh, just find out where they're coming from. Just whenever I just on Twitter, whenever I see a, when I'm, I'm helping, a, let's say, a liberal candidate, I invite them to, let's have a coffee. What do you like about, did I retweet this picture of a liberal or a conservative or an or whatever candidate, you know? I invite people who actually hate him and say, let's have a coffee. The thing is, a lot of people uh, have bigger cojones online, keyboard warrior, yeah. you know? Because I can tell you, they spend 10,000 10, 10, 10, minutes bitching at you behind the keyboard, but in person is completely different because I get his, uh, his reaction. You know, mm -hmm. I invite people. If they, if I held an event, I do a lot of uh, <coughs> conversation starts, um, a lot of topics, everything from I talked about abortions, uh, religion, <coughs> even gay marriage. And the gay marriage when I had at the library, there were people who who who. I have a limit of how many people that can come in the room, in, in the room five, you know? There were people who who were keyboard warriors, but they were attacking and they said, I'll invite, I invite, I started a second event and you invite, invited about the 100 or so people. About 60 of them came, along with other people, and I put them on, on, the, on the stage here and we had a discussion with from their perspective, or so, you know, and I used to class them. If, if I get married or you get married, how does it affect him? Unless we don't want you to talk about it, you may have, you know? That was just, uh, just a, an example, you know? It, many people will just ignore it. Kind of like what Patrick Brown did, ignore all the negativity at, at the very beginning. That's what hurt, 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 hurt him the, the, the most, you know? The whole Patrick Brown is going to be dragged on way past the election. Like he should have done a lot better, you know, if grabbed the, the the bull by the horns or whatever the hell, you know. I swear a bit, I just said hell or you said shit. You know, some people, that may be offensive, mm -hmm. you know. That's also why uh, Hillary Clinton and Olivia Chow didn't get elected because they were too perfect and too, too polite. And some people see, see to that, you know. I say conf confront the people the way, you know, invite them to, to your next session, to your next event. Mm -hmm. And if it's a paid ticket, give them a free VIP ticket uh, to come or, you know, I invite anybody. Let's see, at your location, in your neighborhood, I'll come, I'll pay for the coffee and we'll have a talk. And what do you didn't like about me, you know? A lot of that causes, they go la 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 la, when somebody criticizes so it's different. How do you improve, you know? Maybe get a different, uh, a different shirt. You know, I I did a speech on, on the on the gay gay marriage thing, and I, I wore the shirt, this pink shirt. And you know how the old view of pink is for girls, blue is for boys. I don't have anything blue whatsoever. And I grabbed the shirt because everything else was starting in my, in my laundry machine, you know. And I was accused of being gay. That the worst possible way. How do you know just because I'm wearing a shirt, 
So if I wear a blue shirt, am I straight now? If I wear, what, what if I wear a red shirt, where am I? You know, ask him simply. And this person went on and on. Everybody was seeing, I was just asking, having a conversation. So how, you know, there was a guy, a little, this is a funny thing, there was a little kid who was attacking me because I asked him because he was, he got delayed on, on the, on the streetcar. And he says, the streetcar is gone. The driver's gone. You know, that's okay, I think the negative way, but it's not. And, and I said, how is this, uh, how about that streetcar? He's a bunch of metal, screws, plastic, glass, he came, just to feel the fire. He went on and on and on for, for about a, a whole year. This is like a 15 year old who has no, no time, in no life or whatever, you know? Every other event, he always commented on Facebook, you know? Thinking, I don't remember him, I meet you know, hundreds of people every year that I don't remember many of them, you know? I invited him over. He didn't like the fact I invited him over to the Starbucks and said, Finally, he was well, 10, 16 when we met. What you, what you didn't uh, like about it, you know? I, <clears throat> whenever there's a debate in the provincial and federal, even in the mayoral, Toronto mayoral debates, I, I asked him, if you weren't, like I said, you're NDP liberal and conservative, okay? If you weren't NDP, what other party would you, what's a good thing about the other, the other parties? Things like that. To, you know, to start a different view. And then I asked my other candidates, whose cooking is better, your, your mother's or your wife's cooking? Like a speech trouble, you know? But start a conversation, start a different way of thinking. Get others thinking, but then show them why you think your cause is, is a good cause, you know? I get a stack of this much of all the charities out there wanting me to donate to $25 a month. I can't donate, every, every, you know? So how do you get funding? That's uh, one of your last points. Huh? Funding has been a little bit tricky because Scotiabank used to sponsor from every, RBC doesn't didn't do as much, CABC, but a lot of the f funders are changing things. The Scotiabank is cutting, cutting, cutting a lot of things and it's Hurting. Michael Weck from uh, Dragon's Den, he likes to donate to World Share. Think of who goes to the, those kinds of events and just send them an email. Send a lot of people emails, that they speak. And don't expect just one person. Every All the big funders of, what's it called? Uh, the Jewish couple, the Apotex. You know the couple that got killed? Yeah. 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 They donated a lot of money to a lot of yeah. costs, you know. I'm sure that they get, every day they get 50,000 requests. But when you ask it, say, this is the cost, this is what we need, this is what we're going to do, what we're going to do with it. Should no. you be specific in your donation request or always say, leave it open-ended, so whatever you can donate would be fine? If I need, a, if we need a new, to renovate this room, it's gonna be at least $10,000, it could make a hundred dollars. Doesn't help us out. I would uh, say, we would prefer this, and then, what you're going to do with the $10,000? If they see that you wanna, uh, if you wanna renovate a, a, a homeless shelter, asking them for a million dollars, eh, it's not going to work well, you know, but if you're going to say, okay, with a million dollars, we're going to have $50,000 to repair the lights, 50, another 100000 to fix the, the kitchen so we can feed more people, so they can get value for uh, for, for their money, you know? If my girlfriend asked me for, for $5 for, co for coffee, yeah, I know where she's going. But she asked me for $1,000, $5,000, I want to know what she's going to do with it. So, like a detail, what you're going to do with it, so it makes my analysis, they, 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 Michael Weck and the other ones, they, they want to know where the money's going. 
not that just administration costs. What about GoFundMe or Kickstarter or something like that? What's your opinion on that, using those channels? I am all for it, different, op different options, you know, and I don't, do you know Patreon? Patreon? Yeah. Yes. A lot of, one minute, okay? Yeah, I've got like two minutes, I just wanted you to do this. Okay. You want to keep them? <laughs> uh, Patreon is a, a way for people can donate because YouTube is, is a thing. It's not uh, paying pe uh, people as much, you know? There's coffee K O dash or I don't know F I don't know. Go find me a uh, Kickstarter or whatever. What, what the people what the people have to uh, know when when they, when they do all those. Uh, Go find me has their own fee. PayPal has their own fee. So that a hundred dollars, you're at most going to get ninety to ninety four fifty ninety five dollars. You will never, you know. So, when you when you're fundraising, you have to take the administration costs. And if Michael Weck or, or whoever wants to make a thousand dollars, but you only get three hundred dollars, he's not going to like that. He's not uh, your costs. And he's going to tell everybody that seven hundred a thousand went into administration costs. You know, the financial aspect can affect a lot of uh, costs. But even if it's from Peter to saving your, your child, getting a new playground in, in your park, you know? And go find me Kickstarter. Some of them uh, work for some causes. Other, that's, that doesn't work for, for others, you know? And my, my parent, my, my, my dad is over 85. He's not going to go to, to gofundme.com or whatever. He's gonna, he writes a check to his the charity select to support the young. So it should be an option, you know? Have a bake sale, have a whatever, mm -hmm. have a what's called wine and cheese and put a bucket. They are like the coin for the donations. donations box, you know? Mm -hmm. You can buy that, that donations jar thing with that dollar of the thing costs you and the three dollars, you know? But you have to consider three dollars how much it the cost you because you know if you get oh we got a million dollars, but if we, if you had six hundred thousand dollars in your expenses. It's not going to be a good fundraising from the perspective. Right? Yeah. Okay. I think I can finish. All right. Thank you for attending. Thank, thank you. And thank you for, for, for coming at 10 in the morning. Thank you. <laughs>